Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Summonite 6 Special Insomnia Edition. It's currently 12.18 at night, and I've been laying in bed for an hour and a half. Couldn't sleep, so I figured, meh, might as well record an episode. So, yeah, I figured if anything could put me to sleep, it would be Summonite 6 and these conversations. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, really, I just kind of wanted to play. Why not? Ooh, deep fried octopus, like calamari? That's really good, but isn't that squid? I'm pretty sure it is. Actually, I'm almost positive that calamari's squid. But does octopus and squid actually taste different? I mean, it's just like tentacles and everything, right? I don't know. Well, if you fry it up and have some marinara sauce, it's actually absolutely delicious. I completely agree with Kyle. Ooh, I wouldn't eat it raw. Yeah, that sounds disgusting. I'm not a fan of raw seafood at all. There's been a little tiny bit of sushi that I've had raw, and I wasn't a fan. I've had nigiri raw, which was, like, absolutely disgusting. Eh, why not? Let's go all out. Yeah. I figured that that would increase their bonding. Yeah, I really didn't care about Bonosa's bonding, because he's ugly and stupid. But Kyle? Hey, I'll bond with you all day long. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, I did those quests and everything that I was talking about last time. And I went ahead and I leveled up a lot of my party members up to level 27. And in so doing, it unlocked some more classes. Um, it seems like all these classes pretty much do the same thing. Um, they kind of lowered some stats here and there, but they really raised up the speed stat. So depending on which character and what I wanted them to do, I pretty much chose that, um, that class change. So I'll go over my setup. Uh, real fast just in case you guys really want to see that um, But again, I've only done it for some people like Raj. He still needs to level up But you can only level up after battle. So let's look at uh, her class right there. This green sword holy mother. Yeah, she was uh, Before she was a saver, but look at that speed change that she gets from going to the green sword holy mother It's like what is that? Uh, almost 70 points of speed. It's pretty ridiculous. She got a, uh, a speed up as well um, it Reduces her other stats like her attack defense luck goes all the way down her magic and speed go way up though um, So yeah So that's kind of nice with these um, things. I didn't level up nesty. I'm gonna have to do that um, With Rex I kept him away from this From this class right here. This is the speed up class I kept him on this class just because of the extreme magic bonus that it gives him it gives him 67 more magic points so, yeah. Um, for... For Ist... I kind of have a, a thing with Ist insofar as that he's fast enough as it is. He's at 211 speed right here. But this would reduce every single other stat of his except for speed. So, I wasn't really a fan of it. And by moving to this class, it would also reduce his spirit and ogre, and ogre type magic as well. So, I kept him at the Resolve Rebel. Uh, anybody else? For Amu, I went ahead and I brought her into the speed up class right here. Um, yeah, it lowers her stats here and there, but it's not that big of a deal. It also lowers her ogre magic, but I really don't care with Amu. I really just wanted the speed. Anybody else? Uh, did I already talk about Magna? I don't remember if I did or not. Magna's just kind of there as far as I'm concerned. I don't think that I raised him all that well because I put most of his points into attack and not a lot of points into magic, and we all know how attack uh, turned out in this game, so I figured some extra points in speed, why not? It also increases his ogre magic stat too, so yeah, there's always that. So anyway, that's pretty much the class changes that I've gone over for everyone. So with that, let's uh, actually move on with the story and go over Kyle's ship. There's always such sad music over here. They're arm wrestling. Okay. Yeah, you should. Oh. Oh, so you have like extra super strength because of that? How 
was that insensitive? You don't really even know that he was an RS8 or know anything about it. Oh, that's right. He's actually he has ogre blood. That's right. So that would actually make him extraordinarily powerful now that I really think about it. Your parents abandoned you because of it. That's awful. Wouldn't one of your parents be an ogre for you to have the ogre blood? I mean, where could this blood come from? It's just it's gonna come out of thin air or anything. It's gotta come from one of your parents. Again, like, is this just some sort of mutation where this blood just kind of goes into them? Like, I would imagine that one of their parents would have to be a fairy or an ogre or whatever it is in order for them to have, you know, half ogre or half fairy blood. It, it can't just appear, can it? I don't know, they don't really explain that many things in uh, these Summonite games, I've got to say. It's not just Summonite 6 that doesn't explain a lot of stuff. Summonite 5 was kind of the same way. I was left with a lot of hanging questions. Or hanging strings, if we want to be punny. <laughs> Oh. Why are you here? Were you arm wrestling? I thought that Kyle was arm wrestling. Oh. Wait, you think... Oh. Do you think that Gian is also, like, a half-breed, maybe? I don't know what he's really getting out there. Gigantic cocoon? Huh. Oh, well, where were they at? Not that I really care about them, but... Oh, okay, they were scouting around. Oh, oh, okay, a rather strange cocoon. Yeah. Oh, uh-oh, yikes. Oh. Oh, yeah, Luchelle actually makes a pretty good point there. Huh. Um, Luvade and Eoth already said that this was bad news. Hmm. Yeah, let's go. Why not? Okay. Oh, wow! I am shocked! The game said to go as quickly as possible, and we didn't stand around for another five minutes and blab. We actually came here as quickly as humanly possible. Who knew? What a concept! Man, that thing really is sinister. It actually looks like a lot of cocoons that I've seen in other JRPGs. I can't really put my finger onto which JRPG I've seen cocoons like that before, but I can almost guarantee it's been like 50 of them. <laughs> like, this thing is like a staple of JRPGs right here. Oh, oh. So maybe this is the source of all those strings? It's maybe kind of sucking magic out of the forest or something? Oh. Oh! Rahahahili! There's a humanoid form within this cocoon, but the magic of the humanoid form is different from the strings. Huh. Okay, so Gian is an Arizaid. Stop. Stop. What? Well, what do you mean? Uh-oh. Mother? What is this, Genova? What's happening? <gasps> oh! Anisha, yeah, he was looking for her, but... Why would she be in there? What's going on? Are these her memories or something? Yeah, not really a dream, more like a nightmare. That is a good question. Oh, okay. Wow, it seems like everybody's an Arizade around here. Oh. Oh, that's awful. Yeah, no kidding. 
So here's the question. Canon is an Eros aid, and he was taken over by the strings. So why would Anisha not be taken over by the strings if she's an Eros aid too? That doesn't make a whole lot. Aw, oh, hell. What are you doing here? Yikes! God, and he's with, like, Jason from Friday the 13th, too. Man, did you see those guys? Hockey masks and everything. I can't believe that they're explaining this again for, like, the billionth time. Oh, I see. So Ishlar was taken over in that cocoon as well, and that's why he became like this. Oh, this is terrible. There's gotta be something that we can do. Can't we just kill this guy? Like, seriously? Okay. Yeah, we can totally do this. Sounds like a plan. Whoa. Uh-oh. Yikes. More of these, uh, Jason guys. What's going on here? Oh, no. We've got to do something to rescue her. You know, we could actually try to rescue her, or we could stand around talking about it even more. And also, that cocoon, is it just me, but with that slit in the middle, it kind of looks a little... dirty. We'll just put it that way. <laughs> Maybe it's just me. Maybe my mind's in the gutter right now. My mind always seems to be in the gutter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seems to me like they all chose option two. Rather than actually doing anything, standing around and talking! Ah. Uh, for boss time! Against Feller Ishlar himself! Again! Ray Fair Gian defeat ten or more foes or total? That ain't gonna happen, because they're not gonna be in my party. Screw them. I don't even care. <laughs> I don't. You really don't even get anything with these brave orders. What's the point? Ah, no, wait. I don't want Fulk in my party either. No. Okay, so let's see. Go ahead and throw everybody in. Throw Ist in there. Amu. Who do I else have? Okay, Magna. There we are. And let's see. We'll throw Ist down here as well as, I don't know, Amu. That's fine. And then the rest of my guys, they will be up top. And with that, I think I am ready to roll. Really? She's kind of trapped inside this cocoon? I don't think that she can hear you, but by all means, Stand around and talk and do nothing! Even more. Okay. Why do they all think that they can't defeat Feller Ishlar? We've defeated him on multiple occasions now. I don't think it's gonna be a problem this time. Okay, so anyway, first thing I wanna do is use Kuni Excel on Amu, basically just to raise up her, um, yeah, her walking stat, I guess. It, it, it raises your movement rate, so. That could come in pretty handy for her. Let's see, just keep on going. And Magna, let's see, can you kill this guy over here? Probably not, because, you know, your magic stat isn't all that hot. But, eh, you can get some damage in, so that's fine. Maybe you can do the uh, killing blow, not with a Pico, though. Let's see, maybe a Shine Saber? Yeah, that should get him. Steal yourself! Hey, perfect! That was easier than I expected. Probably shouldn't have wasted Magnus MP, but eh, whatever. Okay, let's see, we'll bring Ist over, and he should be able to kill this guy, hopefully. Repel nice! Hey, perfect! Alright. And then the rest of my guys, I just want That's them to uh, pretty much Commence follow battle. Raj's lead by just heading up this way. Raj! Ooh! You can spear Schlegel. Sweet! Always looking for that. Let's see. Oh, let's yeah, join forces. Rex, and then spear you. Full speed ahead. And then let's get this show on the road. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, can you kill this guy? That would work. Oh, and you can get Showtime. some damage in on. <sighs> Good enough for now. Okay, so let's see. He Come moved, so we're taking Taurus with me. 
And what about this guy way over there? Can you get some damage in on him? No, you can't. Can you kill this guy? How the hey? Well, there's something. Too bad. So sad. Showtime. This battlefield doesn't seem as long Let's as the previous forces. one, so I'm gonna try not to fast forward. I don't want to speak too soon, though, How's so that? we shall see. I mean, Raj is already halfway over to Feller Ishlar. Shouldn't take me too long to get to him. Oh! What in the world? Uh-oh. Yikes! Oh, no! Oh, well, that's no good. So, everything that we just did was for naught? So, Gian and Anisha were in love? Wait, is Anisha a princess? Who knew? Okay. Alright. Okay, let's see. Um, what happened to those enemies being regenerated? I don't see anything of, like that at all. Commence battle! I don't even know why I'm moving these characters around. They're not gonna do anything anyway. Okay, so let's see. You... Let's have you use. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, not a special. Um, not a summon burst either. Come on. I want to use. Yeah, Puni Excel now on Ist. Get his movement rate up as well. Hopefully, this will come in handy. I'm trying to be somewhat strategic with this. Let's see. Let's go ahead and have you connect just to get one little extra um, point of movement, I guess. Here's my trump card! You know, anything just to get him a little bit closer to Feller Ishlar so that I can just destroy him all that much faster. Was that okay? These four losers are just gonna do pretty much nothing. Okay, let's see what I want you to do. Can I get a stepping stone all the way over here? No, I can't. So, hopefully they're able to grab that treasure chest. That's really the only reason why I brought them over there, was to work on that chest. But, I don't know if that's actually going to work. Okay, you know what I want to do with you? Let's go ahead and spear slave yet again. Full speed ahead. And yeah, that makes that height differential nice go away. Forces. Connect with her. Might as well go ahead and open up this chest. Not that it's useful or that I'll be using it at all, uh, but it's there. Let's see, can I connect with let's her? Hey, forces. I can. Sweet. And uh, let's see, killing this guy. Let's just get this show on the road. Do you have another turn, Raj? Thank you! Let's just do it. How's that? Yeah, strategy gets thrown at the window and one of her one character gets four turns and the rest of them are right. still Victory sure is sweet. back at the starting point. It's pretty ridiculous. Okay, let's see. We'll go ahead and level up Raj for those two levels for the extra class that I hope that I get. Yeah, points into magic all the way. It's fine. Ooh, the speedster class. Sweet. And who else needed it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Nesty. And yeah, magic. And the Cyber Lord class. Okay, so let's go ahead and leave that. Oh, that really raises his speed stat up there, but it lowers his magic stat so much. And it lowers his magical abilities too, so I am not a fan. What about Raj with the speedster class? Yeah, it brings his speed up. It lowers his magic down to like nothingness though. And it also lowers his magical abilities as well, so... Uh, sorry, but not a fan. If Raj is going to get four turns, he actually needs to be able to do something with his turns and kill the enemies that I want him to kill. But if his magic stat goes down by, god, like 70 points, he's not really going to be able to kill the things that I want him to kill. Yeah, so that's going to be a negative right there. I thought... This was the end, that I would just disappear, unable to do anything. Anisha! Because that's just how weak I am. Lady Anisha! Always being protected by someone. Anisha! But Gian's voice, all of your voices, are telling me that's not the case. Anisha! I want to change from being the weak person I am. No, I don't want to change. I will change.
Penisha! What a beautiful light! This is her arrow's aid power. I can see why it's so prized. I want to change too. Sis, Aslier. Ishlar! <laughs> Look, the Zerl is leaving Ishlar's body. He can't take Ishlar prisoner while being exposed to Anisha's light. You're not getting away. I will sever the chain of nightmares with my sword of justice. safe now, Ishlar. Why'd you even bother? I let myself be controlled by the enemy. You should have just killed me. Don't be stupid. Have you any idea how worried we all were about you? Living in a terrible world like this, there are many worries. But good things happen too. We've met so many good friends, remember? And besides, I... Sis? I'm so glad. I'm just grateful to have reconnected with you. Welcome back, Ishlar. I... I'm happy to be back. And I'm happy for you, Aslir. Gian! We finally meet again! Penisha! I'm reassured to see that you're safe. I'll make a place where you can rest and recharge yourselves until you are stronger. You really put up a great fight in there, Anisha. Yeah, impressive stuff for sure. You surprised me. Uh, and you two would be? Two mouth-breathing idiots who should know that Anisha here hasn't met us yet. Ah, uh, the trap of the alternate timeline. Oh, uh, <laughs> right. We're sorry for confusing you. Actually, we're... I know. Huh? It may be my first time seeing you, but I know that you've been trying desperately to save me. Thank you, everyone. We got to know the true horror of Nether via Erst, encountered Zerl-controlled Ishlar, and met Anisha who had been trapped in a nightmarish cocoon of strings, one after the other. Weird thing is, I kept feeling like I sensed the movements of an evil malice, but the strength of Anisha's feelings became something like a light of purification. <sighs> Alright, Hayato's our last companion left to rescue. I'm sure Demon Lord Hayato is formidable, but I have faith that we can beat him. Then, together we're all clear to face the real enemy. The Puppet Master pulling those strings. Woohoo! Well, we finally got rid of, uh, Feller Ishlar. We saved that girl with no eyeballs and no hands and weird-ass eyelashes. So, can we get to Hayuto? Find out next time, and let's play Summon Night Six Lost Borders. And, whatever, we have time. So I'm going to go ahead and stick the night conversations into uh, this episode as well. As far as new conversations, we have Ernst and Anisha. And we've already gone up to three hearts with Magna. So I'm going to work on Taurus as the conversation that I'm going to keep. Hope you guys enjoy it and see you next time. <sighs> Yet another tiring day. Welcome back, Raj. Hey, Taurus. Didn't think there'd be another person here already. You're back pretty late, though. Where did you go? Huh? I went out to look for food like I usually do. And that's why you stayed outside until this hour? I was worried. Oh, you were? Sorry. Of course I was. We're all living together now, aren't we? Is that why? <laughs> What's so funny? Huh? Hmm. I'm not sure myself. You're being so weird. I was just happy that you were worried about me. Nobody's ever been worried about me before. What do you mean? The only other person around before I met all of you was Patch. That's why it's quite new for me to come home to someone being worried that I was back late. I see. I think I understand somehow. You do? I've been an orphan since I was little. Orphan? That means you have no parents or siblings? That's right. Before I entered summoner school, I'd always been alone. But something happened and my talent as a summoner got recognized. 
And I was taken in by the blue faction. I see. Yeah. Then I got together with Ness, and Mr. Rail became my surrogate parent. I felt a little constricted at first. I wasn't used to living with other people, but eventually, I didn't mind it when Ness and Mr. Rail lectured me or got worried about me. Instead, there were more times when I felt relieved and happy. I remember thinking to myself, this must be family. That's kind of like me right now. Isn't it? Family can be embarrassing sometimes, but it's also kind of nice. Yeah, you're right. I think it's fantastic to live with other people. Oh, needless to say, I think of you as family as well, Raj. Yeah, thanks, Taurus. Oh, and I hope you don't skip dinner tonight. We've saved some for you. Oh, uh, really? It wasn't an easy job since we've got a lot of big eaters around, so be thankful. You mean Lerm and the others, right? I can see it in my mind already. Wanna go to the kitchen together? I'll heat up the soup for you and everything. That actually sounds kind of great. I'm famished. Thank you.